Hi there, my name is Karani Jeffrey and I welcome you to today's video. Now, in this video, I would like us to dive into the differences between zero rated and tax exempt customers. And I also would like uh, us to see how we can set this up within ERP Next. So whether you are a business owner, an accountant, or just an ERP Next enthusiast, because ideally we are going to be doing this within ERP Next, this video is for you and you can know how to do classifications for tax for better reporting. So zero rated customers are those customers who number one have transactions that are subject to VAT, but the VAT is at zero percent. So there is a line for VAT, but the rate that is applied for the prices is zero percent. Number two is that goods or services they purchase are taxable, but they are applied, the, the tax rate that is applied is 0%. All right. And then the last one is that businesses can claim input tax, that is for the credits uh, for the VAT, that they paid when they were buying their own items. So if they're doing an internal purchase, and they were charged for VAT, they can claim that uh, if they are zero rated. Now, if we go to tax exempt, here it is almost the opposite of uh, zero rated customers. Number one, uh, it's, it's not exactly opposite, but it is kind of an opposite. Number one is that transactions are not subject to VAT. If you go back to zero rated, you'll notice that these ones were subject to VAT but at 0%. Here, they are not subject to VAT at all. Number two is that goods and services are outside of the scope of VAT. So VAT is not even being considered here. In the other one, you notice that the goods and services are subject to VAT, but at 0% rate. And the third one is that businesses cannot claim any input tax. So if they buy items and they are charged uh, VAT, then they record those as expenses within the business. They cannot claim those as uh, as credits. And then the next thing is to dive in and see how this is working. So let's do that. I go here to ERP next. The first thing that we are supposed to set up here is one, what we call sales taxes and charges template. So I'll go to my awesome search, and then I'll do sales taxes and charges template here. And once we are here, we can see here I'm in Kenya. That is why this one is showing Kenya here, All right? You can see here. Now I just need to add another one. This is what comes by default with ERP next. I just need to add one. And this one, I can just call them the names. So you don't have to do this. I'm doing this because I want us to be very clear what this is. So I'm going to do zero rated, zero rated. And then uh, the next thing that I'm going to do to be doing here, if this is zero rated, then in the sales taxes and charges, we need to add a line. This line is going to be on net total. Accounting head, you are just going to select the account which you are reporting your VAT, I can just pick mine. The rate, this is very important. You need to keep this at 0%. Then I save this. Now, what I just did here, I created a sales taxes template called zero rated. So you can give this a name that will help you remember. Then I'll go back and create another one. And this one, I'm going to call it tax exempt. Tax exempt. And now the difference is here. In the tax exempt, here, you don't put anything in this child table. So you go ahead and save this. When you save, now you notice that we have three. If you open this one, you notice that here we have on net total, which is at 16%. So this is the VAT for Kenya by default. And that is what was added here when I set up the ERP. So that can remain there. So we have three now. One for VAT exempt. And then we have another one for zero rated. The next thing that we need to do here is to create a tax rule so this is the second document we need to touch so we need to go to tax rule and then here we go ahead and create one apparently we don't have any so we create a tax rule we can select the sales or purchases 
in this video i'm going to keep it sales of course you can do that also for purchases uh, but i believe one video is going to be sufficient of course if you need any help you can reach us out at upelsoft.com here upelsoft.com you can just look at the the domain there upelsoft.com you can reach us we are going to assist you let me close that out so here I leave that at sales and then the sales tax template you remember the sales tax template we just created this is what we need to select here so we come here and we select that this one for instance is going to be tax exempt we can pick that first and then we are going to go ahead and save this we are going to come back here after a short while and what we are going to be coming to do here is that we are supposed to populate this customer group I'm going to be showing you how we are going to use this ideally uh, uh, because we need to either specify whether this is applicable to one customer which you can select here or it is applicable to a customer group okay but since you are going to, to be probably grouping your customers into groups then you can group those customers that are tax exempt in one group and we are going to do that and then we can also group those that are uh, zero rated into another group and that is the group you are going to select here and by so doing all the customers in that group will apply tax exempt sales template so we don't have, have to set up one customer after another so we are going to come back here and therefore i'm not going to be replacing this i'm just going to click right click here and open a new tab so that we work on this then we go back here so the third thing that we need to touch because now we need to enter a customer group here it tells us that we need to do something on the customer group right let's go and create our, our customer groups so i go to customer group currently i have this again these are default so i'm going to just leave them there i'll create mine this one is tags exempt and i'm just going to save it i don't have to do anything else the next thing i need to do is to create another customer group called zero rated and then i save it now after that we need to tell the system which customers are in zero rated customer group and which ones are in tax exempt customer group right so we go up here and we go to customers so now we are adding our customers here we have one amazing customer so we can just leave that create a customer who is in uh, the group uh, 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 zero rated for instance so we can say here sample zero rated customer right customer group here is extremely important so we are going to say this one is zero rated this one yeah zero rated goes with zero rated and we save this one then we create one more customer who is tax exempt so we open this and we say sample tax exempt customer remember this is the name of the customer i'm calling them this so that we know which customer is where all right for the purposes of the video then here we need to select tax exempt yeah tax exempt so now what have we done here we have created two customers the first customer is sample tax exempt so in this cast, uh, uh, tax exempt customer we select the customer group tax exempt and then we go into zero rated customer we select the customer group zero rated then remember we need to tell the system in the tax rule which customer group is going to be applied here so since this is a, a, a sales uh, tax template of tax exempt then in the customer group we are going to select tax exempt customers you see this one we select this one that way all the customers that are in this one are going to be put there then we go and create one more tax rule still for sales and here now we are going to pick zero rated and then in the customer group we are going to get zero rated and save it let's just confirm that we did the right thing here we have zero rated going to zero rated and then we have here tax exempt going into tax exempt and that is it that is all the setup we need to do now if we go and try to create a sales invoice here uh, add a new one and then here we select our customer who is let's say for instance sample tax exempt so what we are expecting to see here when you select that customer is that 
when we select the item down here we don't expect to see any line and by the way you can see here already that tax exempt tax uh, template has been added here so let's even go ahead and add an item let's say for instance this sample item which goes at 20,000 kenya shillings down here you still don't see anything what about if we change this customer to a zero rated customer so when we do that you come down here you notice that the zero rated ta uh, tax template has been added there and down here we have a vat head but the tax is zero percent so it doesn't affect the amounts but it is there and that is how we do uh configuration for zero rated versus tax exempt and that is also how we create invoices against those thank you so much for watching and i wish you all the best as usual if you have not subscribed please subscribe like the video share to those that it can benefit and also if you need any help you can always reach us at opeo soft limited also i have put together a blog post that is comprehensive and you can also read that blog post at code with karani code with karani.com you can read that blog post there it is going to be there with all the details that you may need to know bye bye i will see you next time